In the previous video, we added a select form control to our form component. So in this video, let us see how we can add a checkbox to our form component. And in the very end of the video, we will see how we can group checkboxes. So let us go right inside our JSX and define an input tag with the type of checkbox. So right after the select form control, let us define the input of type checkbox. So first define the outer div with a class of field and then add a label. Let us omit the for attribute for this. And right inside the label, let us add the input with a type of checkbox. Let us add a name, citizen check. Here we are going to check whether the user has a citizenship of United States or not. Let us omit this. Let us add a class name of filled in, which is a materialized class. And now let us add the on change attribute. And when the change event occurs on the checkbox, that is when the user checks the checkbox, let us trigger the handle change function. And instead of the value attribute, we need the checked attribute. And let us set this to form data dot citizen check. And then right after the input and within the label, let us add a span tag and say, are you a US citizen? So let us go right inside our form data state and add a new key for citizen check right here. So citizen check. And set this to empty quotes as the initial value. So now let us go to our handle form submission function and let us reset the form control to its original state once the form gets successfully submitted. So citizen check set that to empty quotes. So if the user had checked the checkbox control, then it will get reset to its original configuration once the form gets submitted. Now one thing more we need to do is that we need to change our on change handler a bit. So let us do that because currently once a checkbox control is checked, we get a string value on that. Instead of that, we want the Boolean value true or false indicating whether it is checked or not for the checked attribute. And this way we will be able to see the check mark once the user ticks the checkbox control, right? So let us head over to our handle change function and change this a bit to handle the checkbox case. So right here, let us check the event.target.type. So here we are checking the type of the element on which the event occurred, on which the change event got triggered. Now if the type of the element is a checkbox, and we can check this using our conditional operator. If this condition holds true, then let us set the target name attribute to the checked state of the event target so event dot target dot checked and if it is any element other than the checkbox then event dot target dot value like this so for the checkbox we are using the checked attribute which in turn maps to our form data state and if the form control is other than a checkbox then we are using the value attribute right so right inside this state object let us change this to a boolean so citizen check false so here we are setting this to false to indicate that our checkbox is not checked in the start and also right after the form gets submitted let us also set this back to false right here and now let us head over to the browser to see what we get and now let us try out our form so let us fill this the nerdy div the nerdy dev at gmail.com let us enter some password the description and let us select for our profession so say blockchain developer so are you a US citizen let us click on the check mark and let us register so it says you are now registered and can now log in let us check whether the validation is working or not just click on register and you can see it says no profession selected so everything works like a charm. So now lastly, let us see how we can group the checkboxes in our form. So let us go right down to our JSX and add more checkboxes. So let us copy the above field in which we are having the checkbox and paste it down below. 
and for this let us ask the user whether he or she is a graduate or not so let us change this to graduate check graduate and here as well so now let us go right at the top to add a new key to our form data state which is the graduate check so right inside the state let us set the initial value of this as false and now let us go right below to our handle form submission to reset this back to false so if the user had checked the checkbox indicating that he or she is a graduate then once the form gets submitted we need to reset the checkbox back to its original state which is the unchecked state right so here let us say graduate check set that to false so now we have two checkbox controls in our form but as of now they are not grouped together so whenever we want to group the checkboxes together we can make use of the field set element to achieve this so let us see this in action so let us go right below and let us wrap our two checkbox controls right inside a field set element so these two so let me cut this out let us define a field set and now paste them right inside this so now to label our group of checkboxes we cannot make use of the label element with the field set element so for this we can make use of a special element that comes with field set and that is the legend element so let us write here legend and let us say tick the checkboxes that applies for you so now our grouping is done let us head over to the browser to see how this looks like so here is our field set element and on the field set element you can see our legend and inside this we are having our checkboxes so this is how we can group our checkboxes using the field set element now remember this legend element should always come directly inside the field set element and above the things that you want to group which in this case are the checkboxes so let's catch up in the next video where we will see how we can group radio buttons before we proceed further with the next topic